Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome back to my channel. So I am really excited about today's video because I have been waiting to film this. I had placed an order a while back from the Nordstrom half yearly sale. I've lost a significant amount of weight since I started paying attention to what I was putting into my body probably back in November. And so now my jeans don't really fit me the best anymore. So I decided I was gonna get a pair of jeans that would fit me. And then while I was at it, I decided to grab a couple of tops as well to kind of fit into the capsule wardrobe that I'm building. And then <laughs> I realized that I was um, running low on some makeup items or I had completely run out. So I decided to place another order a little bit later and those items just came in. So I decided I was just gonna film all of it at the same time. So I'm really excited about doing this because now I don't have to worry about my kids getting into the stuff that's already arrived. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So let's hop into this. If you, there is a topic that you're more interested in than others, um, for example, I'm gonna put the clothes towards the end. I will leave a timestamp down in the description. So if you're only interested in one thing, check down there and you can see that. So I'm gonna start with the makeup stuff. So a couple of these items are just straight up repurchases. For example, I got the Chanel Vitalumiere Aqua Foundation. This is in the shade 10 Beige. I believe that it's the lightest shade that they have. I am very, very fair, so this works very well for me. I love the finish that it gives. It's a nice kind of smooth, it almost feels like a powdery consistency, but it's a liquid foundation. So really easy to work into your skin. I use my fingers and I love it. So yeah, I had thought about trying a different foundation, but because I'm trying a few other things, I thought I'd wait on that. So I'm really excited to have this again. And then I also picked up a new Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I've had this a few times. I really like it. My um, old one was just kind of starting to dry out a little bit. So I thought I might as well repurchase. And so it just looks like that little eyeliner pen, nothing too fancy, but it works really well. Uh, then I have a couple of other items that are going to be tested, so we'll see how this works. Um, I got the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is the triangular brow pencil in the shade Auburn, I believe. Yep, there it is. I do have some red tones to my hair, so the Auburn pencils usually work best for me. I had the Chanel one last, and I really liked the kind of chiseled edge, so yeah. Um, thought I'd try this one instead. So this chisel tip is a lot smaller than I was anticipating. I was kind of figuring that it'd be like the Chanel one, but the Chanel one was much chunkier. This would make it a lot easier if you were uh, wanting to draw individual lashes into your brows. I'm not huge into that, but yeah. Uh, I don't know what I think about that. So it's much smaller than I'd anticipated. So we'll have to play around with it and see what we think. Otherwise, at least I know that I do really like that Chanel one. So if this does end up being a flop for me, then I can go back to that one without too much worry. Then I'm going to be trying a new concealer from Ilia. This is the True Skin Serum Concealer in the shade Arrowroot. It's supposed to be smoothing and brightening. So for a concealer, if it does that, that'd be amazing. I have some little wrinkles down here that honestly, I don't think that they're going away. I think that they've taken up permanent residence and that's okay, I don't mind. Um, but I would like a little bit more brightening down there. So if it can uh, brighten up my under eye without creasing into those little fine lines, that would be awesome. We'll see how it works. I am excited to try it though. I did pick up a new cleanser and if you've been kind of watching how I do my skincare, I've been using the Bosha Charcoal Cleanser, which is amazing. I really, really like that one. It uh, warms up in your hands, so that's awesome if you live in colder climates. It feels really nice in the mornings and in the evenings, but mostly in the mornings for that one. Uh, but I did want to try something a little bit different. So I picked up this one from Guerlain. It's Late Debuté. It's basically just a cleansing milk, and I'm really excited to try this. I'm trying to think of the last time that I'd used a cleansing milk. I feel like that was something that I used a lot when I was studying abroad, and that was back in college. So that was a long time ago, but I really liked it. 
So I'm really excited to try this. Cleansing milks seem to be a lot gentler on your skin. So for me, I have very dry skin. And so I'm hoping that this will be a little less harsh than some of the other ones that I've used, but I will keep you posted on what I think about this. This is probably the thing that I'm most excited to try in this whole video. So yeah, you will definitely hear my thoughts on this little guy. Then I have a hair care item and I probably don't even need to show you what I picked up because I've told you that I'm getting it, but it is the Philip B Thermal Protection Spray. I have been raving about this probably for the past Past two months. I love it. It leaves my hair nice and shiny and protects against my curling wand. It's awesome. And I just realized that it also protects against sun damage, which is really cool. I have to be very careful when I'm going out in the sun with my skin. I burn very, very easily, but I hadn't ever really thought about my hair. So I'm going to have to pay attention to that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I definitely do notice that it gets a lot drier, but I, I don't know, it had never crossed my mind. So that's awesome. It's just another bonus to this little uh, heat protectant. Moving on to my favorite part of this haul, the clothing. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my favorite item from this whole haul and the item that was so difficult not to just go ahead and wear. So these are the jeans that I picked up. They're just a very basic dark wash skinny jean and the name and ratings sold me on these. So the ratings were really good, but the name of these, they're from Joe's Jeans and they're the Charlie High Rise Skinny. So if this is your first time on this channel, my husband's name is Joe and my son's name is Charlie. So I just, I couldn't help myself. And I've already told my husband that I think it's hilarious that now I'm gonna be walking around with his name on my butt. So yeah, I am so excited about these. Plus they do, they fit really, really well. They're very, very comfortable and they fit my body. So that's the most important part. And I'm just, I'm really excited to start wearing these now. Then I have a couple of sweaters. So this one is a very, very soft turtleneck from Chelsea 28. It's very, very similar to the fabric of the sweater that I'm wearing. This is also a Chelsea 28, just off the shoulder pullover. But I had been wanting a turtleneck for quite a while. And this one, I knew that the fabric was going to be amazing. And it, the turtleneck isn't too close to my neck that can sometimes bother me if it feels like it's almost choking me. Um, plus we, <laughs> we had COVID a while back over Halloween. And since then I still have trouble getting like a deep breath. So now it's even harder to have stuff on my neck. But anyway, um, yeah, I really love this. This paired with some jeans is amazing. I love that look. So yeah, very excited about that. And then I also, I didn't want to like this top as much as I do. Uh, it's from Vince Camuto and it's a funnel neck top here. And it's got this really pretty cabling. It's got kind of a, a horseshoe in here and then it's got like a chain link sort of cable there going too. But yeah, I didn't want to like this as much as I do, but it is, it's very, very pretty. I really like it, it's very comfortable. It's got a lot more structure than some of my other sweaters, but I think I'm gonna be getting a lot of use out of this as well. So that is what I picked up from Nordstrom. It's uh, quite a bit of stuff, but I don't order a lot from there frequently. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about the clothing and adding that to my capsule wardrobe. I am so close to working on that and I'll be sharing that very, very soon. I do have to do just a little bit more decluttering in my closet and then we're gonna get to work on setting up an actual capsule. So be on the lookout for that. And if you are interested, certainly hit the thumbs up button if you've liked this video and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like that declutter video and like that capsule wardrobe video because I'm really excited about those. But anyway, I think that that's going to do it for today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.